Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be studying USAMO 2004 problem number one. This is a geometric inequality problem. We are given a quadrilateral ABCD circumscribed about a circle whose interior and exterior angles are at least 60 degrees. So this information will be useful later on. So we would like to prove the following two inequalities and we would like to also consider the equality condition in those inequalities. I would like to first make a, um, a quick observation about the symmetry given in this problem. If someone can prove the very first inequality, hmm, then by just interchanging a, B, a, B and B, C, and then A, D and C, D, um, which is which is perfectly fine because there's nothing special about a b or a d or b c c d right so they are uh, so because of that um so what we would get is that so if the first inequality tree is true and then exchanging a b with b c and a d with c d we get that one third um uh, b c cubed minus c d cubed is less than or equal to a b cubed minus a d cubed which is actually just uh, equivalent to saying that b c cubed minus c d cubed um, less than or equal to three times a b cubed minus a d cubed which is basically the second inequality here so therefore just proving the first inequality immediately imply by symmetry that the second inequality must hold. Let's now try to make it uh, kind of like an easy sketch. So we have a um, circle. I wish I had a circle tool, um, but I don't. So I will just actually I might have a circle tool here. Um, I think I do have a circle tool. Yep. Yeah, let's draw. Let's try to draw a circle here. A small one probably. There you go awesome so what i have next is i would have to draw my uh quadrilateral here so let me just try to uh, yeah that does it and then i'll draw two more here and then probably something like that here and there you go so what i will do is i will just now fix these corners so perfect and then cropping the extra stuff. There you go. Um, so let's also go ahead and name this quadrilateral as A, B, C, D. As you can see, our quadrilateral is circumscribed around the circle. And let this point be the center of that circle. So from that center, what you can do is we can draw um, perpendiculars to these uh, touch points here there you go and that would be simply the radius um, of our circle so um, uh, at this point um, I would like to also make use of a very well-known fact so if you call these um, distances x x tangencies y y here um, so this tiny bit here z and then maybe we, we would just call this to t so what is obvious here is that AB plus CD is just equal to BC plus AD, right? So let's write that down. Observe um, AB plus CD, uh, which is equal to just X plus Y plus uh, Z plus T is equal to, uh, um, well, uh, X plus T, X plus T plus y plus z which is simply um bc oh, sorry well it doesn't matter bc plus ad but that's that's beautiful now so because well by just rearranging these terms this would imply that um ab um well i i would like to write down something huh, similar so i will just move the ad to the left hand side here that thing is equal to and then moving CD to the right hand side. So I have BC minus CD here. And that's a very, very good uh, thing for me because it will help me simplify <coughs> the, um, 
this expression here remember that's the only thing we need to prove and the second inequality follows from the first so and then I already know how to expand uh, a cube minus b cube so let me just remind you here on on that little tiny place here so I have a cube um, minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared so what I'm claiming here is that these two expressions when expanded um, they will have those terms here which will be uh, the first pro term in their expansion and then so therefore this inequality reduces to something really nice and so I claim that it suffices actually to prove something much easier so let me actually just scroll it a little bit down and um, in the space uh, remaining I'll just therefore claim that uh, it suffices to prove prove that one third uh, well oops a b squared plus a b times a d plus um a d squared is less than or equal to b c squared plus b c times c d plus c d squared so that's exactly our aim goal from now on so um that's what we would actually uh, we can we can reduce this problem to this inequality so um let me open a new page and then let's uh, move on so what i have what what we are given is that um the interior and exterior angles are at least 60 degrees so because both should be satisfied at the same time i will focus on two of these angles particularly a and c angle a and c so therefore the condition the given condition tells us that huh, uh, 60 degrees uh, so we have angle a and angle um, C are between um, uh, 60 degree and 120 degrees that would be equivalent of saying that if we just apply the cosine of all these uh, uh, this inequality we get that minus one half less than or equal to cosine a or cosine C which is less than or equal to one half remember cosine 60 is uh, one half and cosine 120 is minus one half but why did I do that so why do I need the cosine so if you go to the previous page the, the expression in that we would really like to prove uh, reminds us of um, well um, almost certainly the um, um, the law of cosines huh? so that's exactly what I have in mind in fact I will just apply the law of cosines uh, on the following uh, triangle so I will go ahead and apply the law of cosines on triangle ABD first then I will apply it on triangle BCD so ABD would be this triangle over here so on that triangle I will go ahead and apply the law of cosines and then I will apply law of cosines on this triangle over here so let's do it in two steps huh? so we have uh, that um, well let's first apply to triangle ABD um, so let's just change this so we have that BD squared um, that is equal to AB squared uh, plus a d squared minus 2 times a b times a d cosine a but remember cosine a is um, less than or equal to one half which means this whole thing is greater than or equal to a b squared plus a d squared minus a b times a d why because as i said cosine a is less than or equal to one half so this thing is less than or equal to one half and that's what it implies but then um surely this this expression turns out to be um uh, greater than or equal to um let me write that down here so this expression is greater or equal to one third the expression that we actually need and i will like to just show you why that's the case so plus a d squared so why would that be true 
So, well, uh, you can just uh, multiply the 3, factor it both sides of this inequality by 3. And then, uh, after simplifying the whole thing, so what we get here is, uh, so let me write it with another color here, it turns out that ultimately this inequality becomes AB squared minus 2AB times AD plus AD squared greater than or equal to 0, which is or obviously true by trivial inequality so this equality this uh, inequality holds and by the way when i say trivial inequality what i mean is obviously a b minus a d squared and the equality condition here that's important because the question particularly is interested in figuring that out the equality condition in this particular inequality is a b is equal to a d huh? equality condition uh, a b is equal to a d now let's go ahead and apply law of cosines on triangle um, b c d as well huh? um, so the first one was so let me just make note of that so the law of cosine on triangle i believe the first one was on triangle a b d here and now we are applying um Law of cosine on triangle BCD. BCD here, that's a B. So, therefore, when you apply the law of cosines on that triangle, we will again start with BD squared, which is equal to BC squared um, minus 2BC times CD cosine C plus CD squared. But we already know that cosine C is actually greater than or equal to minus one half. So therefore, um, this whole thing is less than or equal to BC squared um, plus CD squared plus BC times CD. And that's actually sufficient for us at this moment because now we can go ahead and combine these two results. So this very first result here and this result here, when these two are combined, we realize that BD squared is greater than or equal to one of them, which is which turns out to be actually the left hand side here. And then BD squared at the same time is less than or equal to this expression, which turns out to be this one over here. So therefore, BD squared is squeezed between the two and it separates these two expressions. As a result, this proves um, the claim, the inequality, the first inequality is proven. So now, uh, this, the, the second part of the question, when does uh, equality hold? Obviously, equality holds when um, AB is equal to AD. And it turns out that this condition is also sufficient um, because all the entries in the, in, in the equalities turn out to be zero in that case. So the given inequalities, when they hold, we realize that ABCD turns out to be a kite, actually. So let me write that down. So um, equality holds uh, a, and then ABCD is a kite with... Uh, holds so then we we know that ABCD is a kite with AB equals AD and BC equals CD and that actually solves and ends this problem uh, hope to see you in our next video